hello guys welcome to today's tutorial today i'm going to show you how to edit an image with masking using figma usually you can achieve this kind of editing using your photo editing software like photoshop and canva but it's fun using figma as well and it's a rather cool skill to, to have so let's get down to it this is what i'm talking about this is these are the kind of images you can create with masking I'm sure if you've created websites and mobile apps a lot enough, you'd have seen this kind of scenarios. So let me show you how you can do, how you can create something like this. So let me just delete this. Then as you can see, these are just normal regular images. So for these, I'm going to use um, remove BG to remove the background. So while that is removing, let's let's edit the shoe so what you want to do is if you're going for the ellipse background for example so you create your background like this so you place it what you want to do is you place it on the shoe send this backwards so i'm just going to change that um color so that you can see okay so i'm changing this I'm also changing this um, the orientation of the shoe, so I'm going to change um, I'm going to change the rotation of the shoe so that I have something like this. So what I want to do is um, let me increase the size of the shoe so that you see what I'm trying to do. So what you want to do is click on both the shoe and the ellipse image. You don't have to create a frame, but I like to create a frame because when you're creating um, when you're creating a mobile app or you're creating a website and you have a lot of elements by this on this side, it's it's sometimes difficult for you to do what I'm about to do. So I'm going to create a frame here, and to do that, you press Control Alt um, Control Alt G. So as you can see, I've created the frame. So what you want to do is you create, you click on the image and the ellipse again, then you press Ctrl D. So when you press Ctrl D, it duplicates um, the image and the ellipse and the ellipse shape. So you click on the middle image here and the middle ellipse shape. Um, so you click on masking. When you click on masking, you click on the first um shoe image yeah, the first image you have in your frame there and you press con you press down control or uh, on your windows if you're using windows and command if you're using mac so you press down control then you crop it out as you can see it's as simple as that it is really as simple as that so i'm going to crop this down as well so for the um for the other image I'm going to use um, I'm going to use a rectangle. So let's see. I'm just going to create. I'm just going to create a rectangle big enough here. So what you want to do is again you send this to the back. When once you send it to the back, you um you select both the image and the rectangle. So what you want to do is create a frame around this as well. Uh, sorry, before that, I'm going to change this background as well. What color can I use? I'm just okay, I'm just going to use blue. So I'm, I want to show you. I'm going to show you a mistake so many people made. I've seen a lot of people ask about this. So I'm going to reduce the. I'm going to reduce um, the opacity here. I'm going to reduce the opacity of the background. So you see, and you see, it's possible you. Um, make this mistake while doing your so I'm just going to save you the stress by <laughs> giving you a walk around um, So again, you click on the um, Rectangle and the image they're going to press ctrl D to duplicate So you click on the middle image and the middle shape then you click on masking Again click on the first image. You're going to use um press down control on your laptop Then you crop it out so this is what I want to show you. As I'm cropping it out, as you can see, the image, um, the masked image at the background, it's light, it's very light. So you might be wondering what's happening, what did you do wrong? 
So to correct this, while still leaving this like this, I'm going to go back to the um, rectangle. So if I fill out this um, opacity here, you can see the image steadily coming back. So once you do that, I'm just going to crop this back in. So that's all really. As you can see, I've created, um, I've edited an image with masking using Figma. Like you can do this with um, Photoshop as well. You can do this with um, Canva as well. But then what, what is the use of creating in, on those um, editing apps, then you now send it over to Canva. So um, you might be wondering what the last rectangle is for. The last rectangle, with the last rectangle, you can choose any color that you want. So you can choose any color, you can play with it. You can, the opacity that was causing issue the other time, you can play with the opacity as well. So there's really nothing you can't do with it. Figma is a very flexible tool. So this is the, um, these are the maxed images. As you can see, it's very stylish. So um, thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you get to like and subscribe and tell me the things you want to see so that I can show you how to go about them. Thank you very much.